Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of my students. I'm teacher Nick. Today I'm going to teach you a topic from science subject, topic 5.1, matter in nature. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Almost all things exist in nature are matter. All living things and non-living things that has mass and occupy space are matter. But there are few elements in nature such as light, heat, sound, shadow, temperature, and time do not have mass and also not occupying space. They are non-matter. Example of matter from a living thing such as butterfly, human, crocodile, ladybird, orchid. Example of matter from the non-living things are stone, rocks, woods, television, sofa, mobile phone, lamp, mattress, you just name it. There are a lot. And not to forget, air that we are breathing today is also matter. There is an experiment to prove that air is matter. You need two balloons and then you inflate the two balloons about the same size. And then you hang the balloon at the two ends of a straw and then you suspend the balloon with a string so that the two balloons balanced the two balloons now are in balance because of the air inside the balloon in both ends of the straw are approximately equal mass and then when you poke one of the balloon the air bursts and you can see that the straw that hanging the balloons will tilt towards the end with the balloon with air. And this shows that air has mass. To show that air occupying space, when you have a bowl filled with water and you have a glass also fully filled with water, held upside down inside the bowl and then you blow in the air with the help of a straw inside the glass and then the air from your lungs will travel through the straw and then floating up filling the top area of the glass and then pushing the water down and then you can see the water meniscus level will go down. This proves that air occupying space. Every matter has its own physical properties and chemical properties. We can distinguish one type of matter from the other types of matter from their physical and chemical properties. What is physical properties? Physical properties are the characteristic of matter that can be detected by our five senses and also by using devices such as thermometer, weighing scale, and emitter. Example of physical properties includes melting point, boiling point, mass, color, density, electric current, solubility, and heat conductivity. Melting point of an ice is 0 degrees Celsius and the boiling point of pure water is 100 degrees Celsius. Milk dissolved in coffee, milk still milk, coffee still coffee, but they are physically combined. Plastic is a good heat insulator and metal is a good heat conductor. Now we go to chemical properties of matter. What is chemical property? Chemical property is properties that change the chemical nature of a matter. 
chemical properties can be determined by the ability of the pure substance to combine with another substance or the substance change into a new substance because of the external factor. Example of chemical properties, petrol is flammable when exposed to heat and oxygen it can set fire. Iron are easily rust when they are exposed to air and water. How can we classify matter by their characteristics? Matter that makes up an object is called material. Physical property of a material depends on the type of matter that they are made of. Every material has its own physical properties or characteristics. Knowing and understanding the characteristic of a material guides us in handling the material properly. We can classify various materials based on their characteristics. <coughs> Density of a material is the amount of matter per a unit volume in that material. The densities of certain material can be determined by comparing their relative density with respect to water. When you put few materials into a water, some of the material will float at the top and some will float in the middle and some will sink. And here you can determine their relative density. Matter can change from one state to another state by changing their temperature and pressure. Solid melts into liquid at its melting point. Melting point is the temperature at which substance change from solid to liquid. Liquid boils to become gas at boiling point. Boiling point is the temperature at which substance changes from liquid state to gaseous state. Every substance has its own melting point and boiling point. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and melts at 0 degrees Celsius. Alcohol boils at 78 degrees Celsius and melts at minus 117 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen boils at minus 196 degrees Celsius and melts at minus 210 degrees celsius oxygen boils at minus 183 degrees celsius and melts at minus 218 degrees celsius therefore substance can also be classified by referring to their melting points and boiling points now let's talk about solubility <coughs> Solubility is the ability of a substance to dissolve in a solvent to form a solution. For example, you have a sugar as a solute, dissolve in the water as a solvent, and when you stir them, will form a syrup solution. Term solute, solvent, and solution will be discussed further in Inform 2 topic solution different substances have different solubility therefore solubility can be used to classify substances there is a common substance at home that can be used to remove ink stain on a cloth do you know what is the substance do you know what is the substance? If you know the answer, write your answer in the comment below. I'm waiting for your answer.
Thank you for watching. Thank you.